Hello, Baggies fans. Welcome to expressandstart.com. My name is Johnny Drury. I'm here with Lewis Cox for a West Brom update. Coxie is fresh from Carlos Corberan's pre-match press conference ahead of the clash with Ipswich Town. And Coxie, we knew it was coming. Um, we've got some good news. John Swift and Josh Madger have been back in training. They're in contention um, to be involved or potentially start against Ipswich. Huge boost, which I'm sure Carlos Corbran was delighted with. Yeah, massive, Johnny. Yeah, yeah. So the uh, the head coach has just told us in there that uh, both have trained this week. Um, not fully throughout, but they've trained enough to, as it stands, be in contention and be available for Saturday's visit of the Tractor Boys. Obviously, barring any issues, um, as it stands late on Thursday, going into Friday, any bad reactions, but don't expect that. So, yeah, massive, massive for, for, for two key attackers to return at the same time is undoubtedly you know, just just a huge lift for everyone involved. You know, from the coaching staff to certainly the teammates and and the fans in the stands as well. So you know, we know what kind of season Swift was having, top scorer, sort of creator in chief really as well, isn't he? And um, yeah, massive for him to be back. And Madge, he just sort of looked like he was finding his groove, didn't he? And that uh, that Dane Bristol, he picked up the injury. So yeah, huge huge boost. You know, helps with the burden on others. Certainly Thomas Asante up front. So yeah, it's just. He's just got a decision, Corbyn, and whether he's made it or, or not at this point is being quite coy. But just whether how involved there will be, you know, it, it, the impression he gave was that they're both OK to start. They could both start the game if if desired. Um, be a bit of a surprise, I think, if both did start. I'd certainly be looking at Swift as more likely to start the game, I would think, um, than maybe Madger. But uh, yeah, certainly both be available and at least on the bench and in the matchday squad, which is just a, just a massive lift for, for everyone involved going into this period now. This is the big period, isn't it? Yeah. In terms of others coming back, you know, we, we talked off the video. Adam Reach look, look, looks like he's, you know, so, well, he's certainly someone that Carlos Corbrand admires. We haven't yeah. seen him since the summer. He, he pulled up at, uh, I think it was at Burton Albion. Yeah. Looks like he's not far away either. Yeah, asked for an update on 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 the others. Actually, Adam Reach, um, certainly the closest. He's he's due to return to sort of team full training next week. So that's um, that's a good update. It's a useful update for Albion. You know, he's not a star man, is he? You know, we know that he's um, not necessarily one that'll get the bums off seats, things like that. But you know, Corbran has, has has told us a good few times this season already that he he saw and identified a key role for Reach this season in the wing back system. He's using someone versatile from the bench. So. That'll be a boost. Obviously, we saw Martin Kelly do a bit of training. We saw videos of that this week, didn't we? And uh, and Dal DK is a little little way away further behind, but his sort of forecasted return was was more towards the end of December, late December, turn of January anyway. So all being well in a couple of weeks, maybe DK will be back out on the grass you know, properly. Uh, but yeah, good news on Reach. It's, an, it's another body and a body that can cover some areas as well. But uh, no doubts in the attacking boost going into what is such a, a big test, isn't it? Saturday evening against Ipswich. And as you mentioned there, it is a big test. Ipswich absolutely flying under under Kieran McKenna. I'm sure it's someone that Corbran um Corbran yeah. admires. What what's he said about the challenge, you know, in, in terms of how they're gonna 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 take it on? I know he's very coy on his on how they take on different opponents, but what what's he said about um uh, before he, the game tomorrow against the Tractor Boys? He uh couldn't have more respect for, for McKenna and Ipswich and the job they're doing if if he tried really um i actually asked him you know i, I noticed they were well fancied in the summer you know what why is that did you think that you know what's the secret and he he, he waxed lyrical really about the work mckenna does uh and, and continues to do there don't you know don't be fooled into this is a, a newly promoted league one side you know i think you aren't you know we're into december now nearly aren't we and look at the championship table what are they just goal different soft top spot with leicester i think it, I've said recently, I've said this season, haven't they, that I think they'll tail off and drop away. But I don't, that, that's not outside the promotion places. I'd, it, it'd be a hell of a story and job if they stayed in the top two. But I think I think they'll, they'll be around it, certainly around the top six spots all season. The, the consistency is amazing. Um, Paul Brown emphasised a very defined way they play. Look, McKenna's from the school of Manchester United coaching isn't he and and before that he was involved in Tottenham you know Carlos was taking us back through his his career and CV McKenna so he certainly knows all about him he was specifying a couple of their really talented players he their left back Leif Davis someone I'm I'm aware of I, I noticed him in the summer with his, his numbers in League One last season his assists from left back Carlos Corban actually had 
um, at Leeds United, someone he was involved in in when Leeds brought Davis into the club and now he's flying at Portman Road. So he's one. Um, Albion's right-hand side will be very aware of, of him, even though he's you know, a left-back, as I say. And and George Hurst, the Ipswich striker, um, Corbran was, was mightily complimentary of him, someone that when uh, Corbran came to England, Hurst's striker was at Sheffield Wednesday at the time. And Carlos explained explained to us that this George Hurst was one of the most thought, you know, thought of, highly thought of, well regarded young strikers in the country, you know, for England youth sides and stuff. And obviously he's had a bad injury since, had to drop down for, for his loans, and he'd been at Rotherham, I believe, been at Portsmouth, but he, he certainly found his found his place now in the second tier, and, and he's flying. So you know, Corbin's pinpointed a couple of real danger man there, but I, I'm intrigued actually to see what they're like. I looked at their record just before the presser. And they, they do concede goals, Ipswich. Yeah, they're 3-2 just before the break. A couple of 2-2s as well. Their, their wins of late have been, you know, four threes, three twos, two twos, draws. So I think they're there to possibly be got at. And, um, you know, hopefully Touchwood will see goals Saturday evening, Johnny, but hopefully they're all at the right end. 